Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video, we learned what is set analysis, how to use it, syntax of set analysis and components of set analysis. Today we will learn how to ignore other field selections which are not predefined in set analysis as a set modifier. And we are getting some of sales here for order year 2022, means current order year. As already mentioned in previous video, that any selection made in category, customer, country, these selections will reflect here, means our set expression will consider those selections because only order year is predefined here. So when I select order month year equal to 2020, I am getting result as 0. So this is not correct because irrespective of my calendar field, I should get result of 2022 here, means my current year sales year. So there is a way to ignore selections of certain field. So here we don't want to ignore of country, customer, category, product, supplier and employee. We only want to ignore the selections of calendar fields which are order quarter, order month year, order month, order week, order weekday and order date. Order year we have already predefined here as current year. So first of all I will show you how I am writing click set expression that will make my work easy. So I am writing something like this. So this is the way I am writing my set expression. Now I will remove all the selections and when I am selecting order month here, I am getting zero here because order month year is not predefined here but because January 2020 is not part of current year, I am getting zero here. So to ignore the selection of order month year, what I need to do here is I have to add here order month year and I will say this order month year equal to and then I have used comma because we have more than one field value in set modifier. So what this will do this will ignore any selections made in order month year. So when I check the result of this expression, I am getting 214825. 214825 is my 2022 total sales. Now if I select anything in order month year, my final output will not change anything. But as soon as I select something in order month, it will change now. So what I need to do is I will mention every single field from my calendar. So I will say order month year, order quarter, order month, order week, order weekday and order date. So we have mentioned 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fields here and we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So now anything you select in your order week or order weekday or order date, the end result will remain same 214825 which is my total sales of current year. But as soon as I will do selections in my category, product, supply name, the final result will change according to the current selections made because country, customer, category, product, supply name and employee name, they are not part of my click set modifier. Instead of mentioning equal to, we can ignore equal to here and it will still work. 
so it will still work and it will ignore all the selections made in year month year month week anything but say you have many fields and you want to ignore selections of all of them so say selections of country customer category all these dimensions fields as well as all the fields from your calendar then instead of mentioning one by one you can you can change this set identifier dollar to one by replacing set identifier from dollar to one you are now ignoring all the selections made over everything so this expression will now give you current year sales and it will ignore all the selections so anything you select from any single filter any filter customer or country or anything you will still get result 214825 which is the total sales of current year so it depends on what the requirement you are having if you want to ignore only calendar selections then you have to mention all the calendar fields and means you have to bypass all the calendar fields but if you want to ignore selections of everything then simply mention one as a set identifier and this will solve all your problems hope you understand now where to use one and where to use dollar as set identifier in this video i have also show you how to bypass the selections made over different fields hope you like this video in next video we will see more about set analysis till then thanks and have a great day